So now I'll place the hip measurement here. The hip measurement that I'm working with is 34 inches. Divided by 2 is 17 inches. So I have 17 inches here. I have 2 inches. So I'll be placing 1 inch here. And 1 inch on the other side. And I'll connect. So now I've shaped it. So when I take it to the machine now, I'll join the shoulders. So when I take it to the machine now, I'll join the shoulders. And after that, I will join the two sides before using bias. I have bias here. I'll be using bias to close the armhole because after, so you know, I would want to sew this into the bias. So I'll use the bias to finish up the armhole. So let me quickly do that. So I have done that, I've joined the shoulders and joined the two sides. All I'll do now is because the neck of this dress, I will be attaching a neck band to it. So let me measure what I have here from here to this end. So let me quickly do that. So I have... Twenty inches. So I have twenty inches, and I'll be cutting the band. So let me quickly show you how to cut the band. So for the neck band, I'll be placing fabric like this because I want to cut it on bias like this. So this is the edge of the fabric. You just fold it like this till you get the length that you need. So this is, I'll, I'll be cutting to it one inch. It's just one um, half inch on both sides for for folding it. So this is 21 inches so i'm good and for the length i'll be cutting two inches so i'll be marking out two inches two inches so here i have it two inches by 21 inches i'll be ironing stay on this just so it will have weight so let me quickly do that So here it is, I've cut it out and also iron stay to it here. So I'll take it to the machine and what I'll do is, I'll fold it like this and so with just quarter of an inch or half an inch on this side. And then I'll do the same here. Half an inch or quarter of an inch. And after that, I'll come and show you. So I've sewn it on the two sides. Now I'll turn it out this way. And do the same to this side. So if you want, instead of cutting two inches, you cut three inches or two and two and a half inches, and then fold it like this. Fold it this way, then attach it one first of all at the same time. Make sure you iron it on both sides, then attach one first. After which you now use this to cover it up. 
you can fold it in two. It will still be okay. So, but I want to attach it this way. So, I want to attach it this way. I'll just hold it like this and sew it with quarter of an inch to the end. So, let me quickly do that. Okay, so I've joined it. I've attached it to the neckline, to the neckline, and then I've also used bias to finish up the armholes, the two armholes. And now I'll set this aside so I can move over to the lower part of the dress. Let me cut out the fabric I need for the lower part of the dress. So guys, I've cut out the fabric because I, I told you guys earlier that the gathers will be three steps. That's three tiers of gathers. And what I have here is, is, okay, let me show you. I have, this is supposed to be three and a half inches, but I have here four inches because I'll be using half inch to attach it to the upper part. And here... I have seven and a half. It's supposed to be seven inches. I'll use half inch. And then for here, I have 11 and a half. It's supposed to be 11 inches, but I but I added half inch also to attach it to the upper parts. So the length of the gather should be 11 inches, seven inches, and three and a half inches. Then you're going to add one inch for hemming, because you're going to hem with half inch, and then use half inch to attach it to the upper part of the dress. So now I'll go and gather it together. Let me show you. I'll bring out the. I'll open it up like this. So I'll I'll keep the three of them together like this, and then I'll take it to the machine and gather it. And after doing that, I will attach it to the dress. Can you see? This is how it's going to be. So I'll go and gather it all the way down, and after that I'll show you. I'll show you how to attach it. When I got when I want to gather. So when I want to gather it, I'll measure what I have here from beginning to the end, including the zipper allowance. So that is what I will gather the fabric to. So I'll gather that. So I'll gather it to whatever measurement I have here. So for cutting the gathers, you can decide to gather. You can decide to double your hip measurement. Or even triple it or even cut four times of what you have i even so i doubled my own and added 20 inches to it so you can do whichever whichever works for you that's a fabric that you have so i'll gather that and make sure that it rhymes with this measurement here then i'll attach it so i have finished gathering it can you see can you see the three layers so now i'll attach it to the dress and i'll place it this way front sides facing each other i'll attach it with just half of half inch i'll sew it all the way down and after that i'll come and show you i'll just sew it all the way down and after that i'll come and show you the dress so guys i finished attaching the gathers i hope you can see it well this is the first layer second and the third can you see so now what's left is to attach a zipper to this dress and the dress will be ready. So let me quickly attach a zipper and show you the finished look of this dress. So guys, I finished attaching the zipper and the dress is ready. Can you see that it was so easy to make? So easy and beautiful. I'll make sure to insert a picture when I'm done. So I've also with the insides. I with the insides. Can you see that it was so easy to make? So we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. Make sure you put on the bell after subscribing so you get to know whenever I have a new video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And make sure you try this. Try this for your client. Try this for your daughter. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.